Hey guys, so if you have always wanted a rain barrel um, and you've checked on Amazon and places like that and they're kind of pricey and not very large for storing really good amounts of water, um, I've got a little DIY for you. This was a, this is a food grade barrel that my dad had hanging around um, their property and uh, I thought let's do it let's make a rain barrel out of it so I'm going to show you how we've taken this um, large food grade barrel and made it into a rain barrel it's really easy uh, you don't need many supplies and most things you can find at your local hardware store so let's get started okay so first things first is you just want a barrel of pretty good size um, you can also use those large white square um, plastic containers as well. Um, this one, like I said, we just happened to have at my dad's property and so we brought it up and then eventually found the lid as well, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but the first thing that we had to do was to put in a spigot. So the spigot needs to be at the bottom and um, we also, with a container like this that's curved, um, I'll show you the bottom. The bottom is curved as well. Okay, installing the spigot was a little bit of a challenge because it was on the curve. So all we did, I say we, it was my dad. <laughs> all my dad did um, was just to drill a hole in what is kind of the flattest part of this curve. Most of the barrels like this are going to have the same curve to it. So we've got um, the size bigger that we wanted, one that a garden hose would be able to affix to, and the hookup for it, and essentially just place it in and then use a nice bead of caulk around the edge because again, this is plastic um, and uh, obviously the spigot was not made to be placed on this. So the caulk really helped it to be watertight. We did try it before um, we caulked it and it leaked. So the caulk is a pretty essential um, part of the equation here. So uh, put the caulk around it you can see as well this little white here some plumbing tape so we tried to try to do it well and um, let me give you a little show of the inside to show you what the inside of it looks like and um, you obviously are gonna have to reach inside to finish it um, but this part really wasn't that bad I'll post some pictures up too so that you can see um, but it was really just a chore that took about an hour once to fig once you figured out all the logistics so let's take a peek at the inside Okay, so here we have the inside and it's been sitting out while we're waiting for a piece for the downspout. But you can see where the interior portion has been attached and of course we needed to consider where the spigot was going to go both for how flat it was going to be and to avoid that ridge. If we tried to put the spigot on that ridge we never would have gotten a nice seal. So you can see the caulk on the inside as well, uh, but that was really it. Once we put the interior part on, caulked everything, and put the spigot on, it was kind of ready to go. So let's talk about how we're going to hook it up um, so that we can actually get some water in this thing. So this is where the rain barrel is going to sit. So this is where the rain barrel will sit. We got the plans for the stand online and I'll link them in the description below. You want a high stand so that gravity allows the water to flow um, out of the bottom and down your hose. So uh, my father-in-law and youngest son helped build this for us. And now my husband is gonna cut the downspout, which he <laughs> is a little sick about doing, um, but so that we can put a diverter in. And I'll link the diverter below. It, um, we got it off Amazon and um, we'll funnel it to the top of the rain barrel and go from there. We're not really anticipating rain for three or four more days. So we have some time if the, if the cuts seem harder to make than we initially planned. So we finally got the gutter cut off using a, a reciprocating saw. And my husband is just loosening up one of the brackets here. This is the diverter we ended up going with. It fit the size of our downspout, which is really important. And it also allows water to fall 
down the downspout as well as collecting. So here it is finally attached and we're ready to go. All right, we're going to test it and see how the water flows. And it works, guys. So we've got water coming in and also water going down to still water the plants there. Okay, guys, so our rain barrel is in place and I'll be pruning the fig tree so that it's no longer touching it when it's time to prune. It's not time to prune it yet um, because this really was the best place for the rain barrel. So holly bush back here, fig tree right here. So we're trying to make a space for it. Um, we did have, you can see, right around the bottom after the first rain this thing got filled and what i would consider to be not a super hard rain which is which was great um but what happened is my husband unscrewed the top to check to see uh, if it was full and if you did, ever did that science experiment growing up where you had um, a two liter bottle with a hole cut in it and you put your finger over the hole and you filled it up and you put the cap on and you took your finger off the hole and the water didn't come out same scenario here. It was fine until the lid was taken off. And then we noticed that some of the caulking wasn't sealing up all the way. So you can see this great home job here of um, white caulk. And this is actually marine caulk. So it's made to be um, near water and around water. And it has held up beautifully. So let's see. I'm going to fill up my watering can because this is primarily what I'm going to use this rain barrel for right now until the spring when I'll attach a hose to it. Uh, because of course we have the uh, stand to create a little lift so that um, it has some water pressure to it. Uh, but let's go ahead and fill up this watering can. All right, so we've got the watering can here. The next time the barrel is less full, we can move it a little bit closer to the edge. There we go, it's a decent flow. Let me open it up. Oh, that's not even, yeah, full flow. There we go, guys. This is rainwater. Harvest it off the reef in this DIY rain barrel. So, super exciting and um, thankful to not have to use city water for everything. Um, so, yeah, so it works. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week.